Hello, everyone. Today is day three of Biz for Social Change 365. And I want to talk to you about not business stuff per se, but deciding to live your life as an entrepreneur and the challenges that come with it. It's 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 can be very rewarding, but the challenges that come from that. So yesterday, someone I cared deeply about um, passed away. And so all the plans that I had for yesterday just kind of went out the window because I had to go and support my family in, um, in, you know, receiving and dealing with this news. And then this morning, um, I had to do something else that got put back because of what I was dealing with yesterday. And it becomes, you know, when you're working for yourself, when you're working um, as an entrepreneur, the buck stops with you, you know, um, how successful your business is. There are a lot of hidden things that you have no control over. But the things you do have control over, sometimes they just go out the window. I mean, it's just like shot. <laughs> and so as I sit here and write and, and talk to you today, it was I just thought about, I had a plan of talking to you about the first step in... Um, building the processes that will support a product or service. But I just wanted to be, you know, this is my blog. This is me just being real. And as I said, this is this is what I was going to do um, with this blog, vlog. I keep saying the vlog, blog, vlog. <laughs> um, let's just be honest with you about what it's going to take to build a business for social change. Because as I listen to a lot of... What do I want to say? So I listen to a lot of motivational kind of stuff or how to be an um, entrepreneur. And this is how I did it, entrepreneur. So much stuff is about, you know, screw work-life balance or you got to work hard. You got to work hard. You got to put the time in. You got to do this. You got to do that. You, if you're not thinking about your business 24-7, then you're not, um, you're not going to be successful. But the thing that I love about this whole business for social change movement that I'm embarking on and I'm happy that you're going with me is these things are important. Um, when you're thinking about other stakeholders as um, that are important, that aren't just about shareholders, it's about your employees, your partners, your supply chain, your customers, your clients. You also have to think about yourself. You also have to think about yourself. You have to think about what is best in this moment for you as an entrepreneur. And sometimes you just have to, you know, go to bed, put the covers over your head and call it a day and just get up the next day and do something different, do something better. And that's okay. Um, because life is going to hand you shit that you just did not expect. And so that's why I'm making this video today, just to say, you know what? Yesterday and today aren't what I planned, but they're what I need. And um, and I, if you need it, I give you permission <laughs> to do the same things, to do the things that you need in order to be healthy, in order to be pre be present with your family and friends and the things that you do, and even in your business. Um, if you're not finding a way to take care of you, you will not be present in your business. And there's no way in hell that you can build a business for social change that's built on core values um, that um, help you grow and scale and, and recover. And, and, and so you, I can't even talk right now. I can't even, I have my little tagline. It's, it's um, scale, evolve and recover. And my brain is just like shot. I just can't even think. But that's what I wanted to share with you today because I have made a commitment that every day that I was going to post something. So some of these things will not be specifically about strategies or tools or advice about business in the operationalizing sense. But they'll just be about musings that I'm thinking about that I just think about as an entrepreneur and um, I want to share with you. So thank you.